Hi guys, I am going to do a video of, um, I'm going to change and clean up this little guy. Oh, I had a diaper for him. Now where did I put that to? Oh, here it is. I'm going to give him a fresh diaper. Hopefully it'll fit because it's a size newborn. And typically these dolls do better in size one, but I do not have a size one available right now. So anyways, this is the Hispanic male beginner care that I traded Heather for, um, for my dark African female neonate. Um, I thought about selling her, but I needed another Hispanic baby and I knew Heather loved neonates, so we came up with a uh, compromise, or not compromise the trade. Um, he is going to need a little more cleaning. I'm using just the um, seventh generation baby wipe to kind of wipe him up. I might have to get out the magic eraser at some point, and it looks like he's got some pen marks on him. I don't think it came from Heather. Um, I don't remember him sending him like that. It may have been when Heather flew because I knew the bag that she had him in was black. So some of that might have wore off on him. Um, so I'm also going to change him while I'm at it. He came in this cute Joe Fresh um, pajama. That's super. I didn't realize that was Joe Fresh. Yes, ma'am. I think she got this from Crystal, in all honesty. Um, so he does have his, and he's a little bit sticky too. I don't know why some neonates and baby think, well, I've seen, I've noticed it more in baby think it overs than neonates. They get really sticky. The vinyl becomes very sticky. I don't know if it's like storage because they're stored in a place that's humid or what. Sometimes just like giving them a good wipe down gets the stickiness to go away. Um, sometimes kind of like a, a silicone, you can powder them down and the stickiness will temporarily go away. So. Um, so I talked to Heather and her son was super excited to get the other neonate because her one son absolutely loved the neonates. He wasn't as fond of um, this little guy. Um, she had named him Mateo, but I am going to change his name. I think I came up. And I'm not setting his name in stone, but at the end I'll reveal. So you can see a little spots where there's been some like ink transfer and stuff. I honestly, it's been so long since I saw this little guy. I fully don't remember. Um, so anyways, um, Heather had named him Mateo. And her son really wasn't fond of Mateo. But getting the neonate yesterday, Heather said that her son has already named it Sarah. And he's already been playing with Sarah. And he's... Um, he was so excited to have her. Um, yeah, I guess he took her to bed with him last night. So he's having fun with little Miss Sarah. So I'm trying, I'm trying to cover this guy's up privates while I do his cleaning and wipe down. Like I said, I'm hoping to get rid of some of this sticky. I am not fond of seventh generation wipes. They, they peel bad. Like it's leaving, and I know, like I said, he's a little bit sticky, but it's leaving like lint, white lint all over him. Um, let's do his upper thighs and put his new diaper. I'm going to put a Hello Bello diaper on him. I have these newborn ones that I got in that Hello Bello box from um, Walmart a few months ago. I honestly don't remember when I got it, but it's a Hello Bello newborn diaper, and it should fit him. He had a size one Target diaper on him, but 
Yeah, this Hello Bella actually fits in nicely. I'm actually really enjoying these Hello Bello diapers. They feel softer to me than um, Honest diapers. Honest diapers always had a very like um, papery feel to them to me. And this has like a really soft, like almost cottony texture. So I'm really enjoying and I'm glad that I can, the newborn size fits in all this and now I'm kicking myself because Walmart had on clearance a box of Hello Bello newborn diapers that I passed up because I'm like, I mean, it was like $5 for a big box. Not that I needed the big box, but for five bucks. Um, I, I'm now kicking myself I did not buy those. Because I thought, oh no, if it would have been size one, I would have gotten them because size one fit the neonates and baby think it over is better than the other ones so i i'm pleasantly surprised that this fits him i'm really annoyed though that the i am not fond of seventh generation wipes these came in my amazon baby box it's either the seventh generation i've never really been fond even when my kids are baby i didn't i felt like using the seventh generation diapers on a baby like this is a 10 pack. This would be taking care of one baby poo. And at that it would be like one not bad baby poo because it it takes more than it should with them for, in my opinion, to clean it up. Um, I do have the Hello Bello diapers that I brought over in case I used all these. Personally, like I know um, Kylie Cats had asked, the Hello Bello diapers are very soft too, just like the diapers. Um, and they are 99% water, um, like, oh, what are they? Water, water wipes. I'm trying to see. They don't have periables, alcohol, and fra artificial fragrance fragrances. Trying to see, okay, ingredients, aqua, glucosatone, sodium, benzate, hydro, so an aloe. Actually, looking at these, it even has that, um, some of the stuff that they have in here is actually organic. There's chamomile in them. So in all honesty, looking, the comparing the the um, seventh generation to the hello bello diaper wipes the ingredients the ingredients seventh generation use citric acid in them in wood extract soft white materials made out of wood pulp polyethane and poly something else this one doesn't say what this it's made out of but I have to laugh at the disclaimer. Use your noggin. Discontinue if irritation or redness occurs. Keep away from children to avoid a choking or suffocation hazard. I have to laugh at the use your noggin. But anyways, um, I'm really liking these Hello Bello wipes. When I got my last box from Hello Bello, I sold the wipes to my friend Wendy who's sending them to her niece for her niece's baby. Um, this next round, I think I'm going to keep them. I'm going to keep them for my babies because like Crystal's done a video recently about if you should disinfect your babies or your reborns and that should be a no. But she said that she made the mistake when she first got into the reborns just using like regular Pampers or Huggies wipes on her babies and she found out that she shouldn't be doing that so she only wipes hers down like once a month and only uses water wipes which the hello bello are 99 percent water just like water wipes so to me they'd be comparable so anyways i'm gonna put on this little guy this kicky pants outfit it's their jammers with the little butt flaps i thought those were cute um i wanted to change him and then i'm going to um still have to do his name reveal but yeah I'm, I'm excited to have him in my collection um like i have said when i unboxed him i plan on getting 
are doing some videos this summer. Well, now that the kids are home. Once things, like, seriously, I didn't, I would think the kids being home, I wouldn't be as busy, like, because we're quarantined. But, like, I'm looking at my calendar for this week, upcoming up week. Um, my son has three Zoom meetings a week. He has their typical class Zoom meeting every Tuesday. And then he, once a week, um, has his reading intervention teacher has been doing a zoom meeting with him where he reads her a story so they're working on he is gt in reading um but we've always had struggles with him picking up well it's part of autism so like picking up social things and stories um there's we've done lots of social stories and whatnot but um he can read a book, and if it's something that's interesting to him, he can comprehend it better. So that's what she's working on with him. He reads her a book, and then sh um, she'll start asking him questions to kind of pull out some of that information from him. So i am really been happy with the school with that, because that was kind of one of my concerns about doing this um, e-learning is him missing out on his sped hours. And so the school has been doing that. Um, so he's been getting that extra in. His speech teacher is looking at doing a few Zoom meetings coming up now too. And then um, we haven't got those yet. Then on Friday, his teachers have been doing virtual field trips through Zoom. And all the kids in his class have been really enjoying those. So he's excited to do some more of those. And then I have to um, tell a doctor appointments this week. Um, it's not the corona. In fact, my friend and I had a whole discussion about this. I got sick at the beginning of February. We're starting to wonder if I had it then. But anyways, um, it's allergy season. My allergies have been really bad this year. And like my whole face hurts where my allergies are. And I think I have a sinus infection. Friday, I was literally in tears. I could not touch like the bridge of my nose without wanting to scream in pain because of the pressure. I've been getting migraines like right behind my eyes where all the pressure is from my sinuses. And it's not like everybody's like, oh, but you're not stuffy. You don't sound stuffy. Yeah, I don't because my sinuses don't come out my nose. They go down the back of my throat, not to be disgusting, but that's just my anatomy they go backwards so it all drains into my stomach instead of draining out my nose but especially like I have a humidifier but waking up in the morning my throat hurts because I'm breathing through my mouth all night um but it's it's all inflamed in that area like the other day like my husband even looked at me he's like your nose is swollen what did you do and it's like my sinuses are just that bad so tomorrow I have a teledoctor appointment for my sinuses hopefully I can get something for the sinus infection um but and to kind of relieve or that and to relieve like this the pressure and the swelling because I've tried like mucinex I've tried Tylenol sinus relief I've tied regular sinus I can't take Advil because of my surgery so I'll see if we can figure out something that I can do to try to relieve some of the pressure and pain in my face. And then I have my six month doctor appointment with my regular doctor that I see every six months. So I have that and what else do I have going on? Um, last week, you guys are gonna be seeing this a few weeks later, but last week it was announced that the kids will not be going back to school this year, so I got one kid excited and one kid upset about that. So my friend and I, we're gonna social distance, um, but I need to go over to her house. The plan is she's got she's taking bringing her laptop out to her garage, and her husband has set up a TV in their garage connected to the laptop, so that the screen will be bigger, so I can stand six feet behind her. And her and I can, there's some PTA stuff that we have to do on the computer 
Um, so we need to get that done. Before spring break, we had our spring book fair and we have to close that out and pay Scholastic for it. So her and I have to get together to do that because I have part of it. She has the other part. She has all the passwords too. So we're gonna go get that done tomorrow too. And then my daughter has two Zoom meetings sometime during the week. It's just, and on top of it, our rabbit club is decided to last month we didn't have a meeting because the meeting would have been when all this stuff was starting. We decided to do try a Zoom meeting this month um, for the club meeting because there's some stuff that we need to take care of. So we got that Zoom. We got Zoom going. We Zooming all around this week is what it's going to feel like. I'm really glad that um, we bought my, my son had an iPad and when we moved here, our concrete, our floors are all concrete, and he accidentally dropped it and it busted the screen. Now, I know for $100 I can get the screen replaced, we just haven't done it yet, but his iPad he's had for five years, he got it from Autism Speaks, and it was only a 16 gig iPad, and he's maxed it out. He can't put any more apps on it, and I think that the next, I don't even know if it's updating anymore in all honesty. So my husband wants to get the screen fixed on it and then that's going to become my husband's iPad for um, when he does work in the garage. So that's fine with that, but we ended up for my son's birthday and we gave it to him early. We got him a new iPad for his birthday because other than that, I don't know what else to get him. Um, so we got him a nice new iPad. He's restricted with it currently because it doesn't have a cover on it but that's been helping a lot to do the schoolwork because my daughter's been using they were fighting over the ipad like who was doing schoolwork so now my son can use his my daughter can use my ipad and we can get that done so that was all that's his birthday present his big birthday present but yeah oh i've been rambling on and i forgot to announce his new name so Keeping with my other babies, his middle name is going to stay like his heritage. And I know I already had one, but I changed her name. Um, my full body silicone, I had named Ryan, and I've always loved the name Ryan. So I think I'm going to name, I changed her name to, I think, Quinn. I don't remember, in all honesty, because I'm trying to sell her. But I have decided to name him Ryan Alejandro. Um, so, that is his name. It's going to be Ryan. I was thinking of calling him Ryer, or Ry Ry. So, this is my beginner care, Ryan. And I hope everyone has a great week. Bye.